The 21st century is a global era. Building a new Silk Road to enrich tourism in East Asia. The East Asia Inter-Regional Tourism Forum. ETOF is comprised of exemplary tourist destinations representing 12 countries in East Asia. Cebu Province, Philippines. Chiang Mai Province, Thailand. Gangwon Province, Korea. Jilin Province, China. Luang Prabang, Laos. Primorsky Territory, Russia. Quang Ninh Province, Vietnam. Sarawak, Malaysia. Siem Reap, Cambodia. Totori Prefecture, Japan. Tu Province, Mongolia. And Yogyakarta Special Province, Indonesia. Together, we are blazing new trails in the tourism industry. ETOF is an organization joining nine local governments in East Asia, formed in 1999 at the proposal of Kangwon Province in the Republic of Korea. Established to strengthen collaboration between its member provinces and invigorate the East Asian tourism industry. It serves as an agent for international cooperation and tourism exchange. ETOF sprung into full-scale activity in 2000 at its founding conference in Gangwon, Korea. The member provinces continue to meet once a year, hosting a general assembly on a rotational basis. At the annual general assembly, the governors of each member province sign a joint declaration seeking collaboration to promote tourism throughout East Asia. They have also begun to host various exchange programs during the assembly, such as the Academic Symposium, which aims to create concrete plans for increasing tourism activity between the provinces, and a travel mart for exchanging each member's tourism products. In 2006, Quang Ninh Province of Vietnam, and in 2009, Luang Prabang of Laos and Siem Reap of Cambodia were registered as an official member of ETOF, increasing the number of member provinces to 12. In January 2008, the ETOF Permanent Secretariat was established in Kangwon Province, creating new opportunities for information exchange in various fields between the member provinces and for discussion regarding ETOF's plans for future development. From 2009, the ETOF member provinces have organized a charter flight and cruise committee to collaboratively develop their tourism markets of ocean cruises and charter flights. In addition, ETOF is supporting the campaign of Quang Ninh, Vietnam, to have Ha Long Bay inscribed as one of the new seven wonders of nature. As well as the campaign of Kang Won Province, Korea, to host the 2018 Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. And the campaign of Totori, Japan, to designate of a member of Global Geoparks Network. The ETOF member provinces aim to further promote the invigoration of their tourism industries through the spirit of mutual cooperation, as well as to develop the broader tourism industry of East Asia via collaboration toward their primary shared interests. As a part of these efforts, ETOF has developed various exchange programs among its member provinces, such as the Summer Youth Camp and the Officials Exchange Program which offers staff training in the tourism field.
The member provinces' collaborative programs modeled off of the International Cooperation Agency have seen a particular increase in activity. A few good examples are the support for recovering from earthquake damages in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Gangwondo's donation of fire trucks and technology transfer education to CM Rep, Cambodia. And the civilian broadcasting exchanges between Quang Ninh Province, Vietnam. ETOF is working tirelessly to develop an expansive sightseeing Silk Road in order to put East Asia into the spotlight amidst the closely watched tourism industry. Located at the heart of 7,107 islands known as the Philippine Archipelago, the province of Cebu has long been considered as the natural gateway to the central and southern areas of the country, a strategic port and trading center in the region. Blessed with beautiful balmy weather, gleaming white sand beaches and warm hospitable people, Cebu is now the premier tourism destination of the Philippines. The province's 47 festivals showcase its rich heritage and culture through colorful dances, music, song, and delectable food, making Cebu truly one festival island. Today, Cebu is also recognized as a cradle of creative hands and is known for its diverse and world-class products from furniture, accessories, houseware, fashion, jewelry, garments, and food. Indeed, Cebu is the place to be now and in the coming years. Come visit us and be captivated. The most fascinating place in the Republic of Korea, Gangwon Province. Considered the most famous mountain on the Korean Peninsula, the slopes of Mount Soraksan are enveloped in picturesque, ever-evolving scenery throughout the year. Famous for its snow, ice, and festivals, Kangwon is a veritable utopia for winter sports and leisure activities. In the heat of summer, Kangwon is a paradise where visitors can relax at bathing beaches lined with seemingly endless shores of glistening white sand. With its expansive sky, sea, and land, one can experience the thrill of sports and the joy of relaxation all year round. Kangwon Province, blessed with lands of immense natural beauty, cultural heritages, and festivals. A place where you can dream as you like, where anything is possible, the boundless treasures of Kangwon Province will entrance you. Nestled in the vast region between China, Russia, and North Korea, Jilin Province occupies a key position between the national borders of Northeast Asia. A veritable treasure house of the region, Jilin is home to innumerable historic relics left by various peoples and nations that traverse this land over the course of thousands of years. Mount Changbai is another of Jilin's many charms, an ancient natural formation that has stood intact throughout the ages. The mountain is blanketed in snow for half of every year. Here, visitors can enjoy winter sports and leisure activities to their heart's content. Chilin Province, the next generation of winter sightseeing destinations. Luang Prabang is in the northern part of Laos. It is renowned for its outstanding cultural and natural beauty. The old capital of the Langsang Kingdom and World Heritage Site lies on a peninsula at the confluence of the Mekong and Khan rivers, lush with palm trees and dense tropical foliage in a mountainous landscape. The town is one of the best preserved places in Southeast Asia and its beautifully restored temples, period buildings, traditional cultures, and tranquil atmosphere make it a must-see for those visiting the region. <laughs> 
stretching over an area of 1,553 square kilometers with 1,969 islands. Quang Ninh's Ha Long Bay is the treasure of Vietnam. With its tropical forests and limestone islands enveloped by a beautiful marine environment, Ha Long Bay is known as the Garden of the Mysterious Sea. The bay has been inscribed twice as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, first in 1994 and again in 2000 for its global values of natural beauty, geology and geomorphology. Scattered throughout the bay are limestone islands, untouched havens embraced by the jade-colored sea. Shrouded in an air of mystery, innumerable natural caves and grottos that have formed over the course of millennia are dispersed throughout the limestone islands. With millions of visitors each year, Ha Long Bay is a world-famous tourist destination. Where ancient and modern cultures coexist, Sarawak, the largest of Malaysia's 13 provinces, Sarawak is a unique and enjoyable tourism destination. Its capital, Kuching, is a resort paradise where visitors can enjoy any number of water sports. Home to a protected orangutan sanctuary, Sarawak is also a land where primeval ecosystems survive and sustain. The Sarawak Cultural Village offers glimpses into the indigenous tribe's way of life, including the unique longhouses built in the local Iban community. A veritable living museum, Sarawak is a utopia for anyone with a taste for adventure. Siem Rep Province is located in northwest Cambodia. It is the cradle of Angkorian civilization, and it is a province that offers plenty of opportunity to tourists enthralled by the cultural patrimony. The name of the city literally means Siamese defeated, referring to the victory of the Khmer Empire over the army of the Thai Kingdom in the 17th century. Siem Rep Angkor is the most attractive landmark in Cambodia in terms of cultural tourism in the Southeast Asia. The most popular temples in the Angkor area are Angkor Wat, Angkor Tombayon, and Baphon. Totori Prefecture, a relaxing getaway with some of the most beautiful scenery in all of Japan. Blessed with rich natural beauty, from the Totori sand dunes, an expansive geographic work of art, to the white sand and green pines of the Uradom coast, from the famous Mount Daisen to its abundance of hot springs, Totori Prefecture is the perfect destination for a relaxing vacation. In addition, Totori offers a variety of leisure activities, including skiing, golf, and more. Totori also boasts a wealth of delicious foods, such as the Matsuba crab, the king of winter dishes, and the juicy and refreshing 20th century pear. At traditional hot spring inns called Ryokan, visitors can taste savory Japanese cuisine made with these mouth-watering ingredients. Full of charming attractions to soothe the body and spirit, Totori is a must-see spot for travelers from all over the globe. The land of Genghis Khan, Tuv province, is an expanse of grasslands where one can witness the traditional lifestyle of nomads who wander the vast terrain. At Kustai National Park, visitors can come face to face with Mongolian wild horses called Taki and traditional nomadic dwellings known as yurts. The region also offers the alluring taste of dynamic and unique traditional cuisine called Korkog, a whole sheep roasted on hot stones and eaten with vegetables. In Tuv, find yourself swept away by the indelible spirit of a people who have traversed the Eurasian continent for generations. Yogyakarta Special Province, a museum of Indonesian religion and history. 
The region is filled with religious relics from Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism, including the Borobudur Temple Compounds, a famed Buddhist monument, and the Prambanan Temple Compounds, the tallest Hindu monument in Java, both inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Yogyakarta is also home to the Kraton, the Sultan's enormous royal palace built in traditional Javan architectural style. Visitors from all walks of life will be enchanted by this region's extraordinary charms. With remarkable natural landscapes, vestiges of rich ancient cultures, and spellbinding traces of history, each of these regions possesses unique attributes that will fascinate tourists from all over the world. By utilizing the natural resources, human infrastructure, and expertise of its...